Okay, class. So, we're doing voice drill number four now, and this one is from a Gilbert and Sullivan musical, or a, basically it's a short opera, in a sense, and it's called Iowa. And it's Lord Chancellor's song. We're going to go through it, and the parts that I have underlined, those are the parts I want you to have emphasis on. And the rest, the rest of it, you speak in a normal, normal voice. So, <clears throat> again, you want to remember your posture. You want to mem remember that you're going to be projecting your voice. Now, I don't have this one memorized, so I'll be reading from my notes. And the way this one goes is, when you're lying awake with a dismal headache and your repose is tabooed by anxiety, I conceive you may use any language you choose to indulge in without impropriety. For your brain is on fire, your bedclothes conspire of usual slumber to plunder you. First your counterpane goes and uncovers your toes, and your sheet that slips demurely from under you. Then the blanketing tickles, and feel, you feel like mixed pickles, so terribly sharp is the pricking. And you're hot and you're cross and you tumble and toss till there's nothing twixt you and the ticking. Then the bedclothes all creep to the ground in a heap and pick them all up in a tangle. Now your pillow resigns and politely declines to remain at its usual angle. Now this next part I want you to say quickly, as fast as you possibly can. You're a regular wreck with a crick in your neck, and no wonder you snore for your head's on the floor, and you've needles and pins from your soles to your shins, and your flesh is a creep for your left leg's asleep, and you've a cramp in your toes, and a fly in your nose, and some fluff in your, in your lung, and a feverish tongue, and a thirst that's intense, and a general sense that you haven't been sleeping in clover. But the darkness has passed, and it's daylight at last, and the night has been long, Diddle, diddle, my song, and thank goodness they're both of them over. And that's the, that's the part that I want you to read for this drill. It's a good exercise in terms of your tongue and, and stretching out your vocabulary and going through the different parts. And so, you know, it's kind of musical, so it should be kind of fun to do. All right? I think you can find it on YouTube as well. Some other people actually do the whole thing in the opera, in the opera sense and do it musically and all of that. Alright, so that's it. Take care and God bless. I'll see you for the next one.